Welcome back to the video series on Max Revision Made Meticulous. Day 5 Integration of Particular Functions. Revision, as the name suggests, means looking back over previously learned information, ensuring that it is clear and fresh in the mind. Five questions per day from selected topic is presented at this video series. The steps in answers are supported by the ideas used for getting the answer. Now we are going to see some integration of some particular functions. If it is integral dx upon a square plus x square, it is 1 by a tan inverse x by a. How to remember it? If it is a square plus x square, this is obtained by putting x is equal to tan theta a tan theta x is equal to a tan theta therefore the integration is 1 by a tan inverse x by a we have to identify what is a and we have to identify what is there in place of x but remember in place of x if you are having only linear factor of the form x plus 3 x plus 4 like that only it is allowed similarly if it is dx upon a square minus x square it will be 1 by 2a log a plus x by a minus x how to remember it a square minus x square factorization is a plus x into a minus x. Therefore, it is 1 by 2 a log a plus x by a minus x. And this one, the formula is obtained by some adjustment in the numerator or it can be obtained by, by making use of partial fraction technique also. Similarly, the third integral dx upon x square minus a square is 1 by 2 a log x minus a by x plus a. How to remember it? x square minus a square factorization is x minus a into x plus a for 1 by 2 a log x minus a by x plus a. In all these three uh, integral of particular function form, our job is to identify what is a and what is in place of x. But in all this fun prop for formula, you have seen that the coefficient of x square is 1 only. In the first one it is plus 1, in the second one it is minus 1, in the third one it is plus 1. Therefore, coefficient of x square should be plus 1. Then only well, you can apply this formula. Therefore, we are now going for integral of some particular function where the previous three formula are used to do, do the integral of 1 upon ax square plus bx plus c. What is this ax square plus bx plus c? It is a quadratic factor. It is a quadratic polynomial whatever you call ax square plus bx plus c. Now, what is the step number 1? You have to make the coefficient of x square as 1. As I told you earlier, all the for 3 formulae which you have seen in the previous slide, there the coefficient of x square is 1 only. Then after that, we are going to do this completion of square. Already you have read it in your lower class. Whenever you are doing that factorization or solving a quadratic equation by completing the square. What you have to do? Write it as x square plus or minus b by ax. What is the meaning of b by a? Already we have divided by a, therefore again divided by 2, it will become x plus r minus b by 2 a the whole square minus the square of that constant. You have to remember that. Okay, let us see some examples so that it will be easy for you. Then you have to use the formula. Step number 1, make the coefficient of x square as 1. Then that x square plus something convert it into x plus something by 2 whole square minus that square of that constant. Anyway, you will see it once again when we are doing problems. Now let us see how the conversion is to be done. Suppose if the expression is 4x square plus 9, what is the step number 1? Take 4 outside. It will become 4 into x square plus 9 by 4. How to visualize it? 4 into x plus 3 by 2 the whole square. Therefore now we have x square plus a square form. x square plus a square form. Similarly, suppose if it is 2x square minus 5. Yes, you have guessed it correct. 2 should be taken out. It will become 2 into x square minus 5 by 2. How do you visualize it? 2 into x square minus root 5 by root 2 whole square. So that you can apply the formula of x square minus a square directly. Then suppose if it is 5 minus 4 x square, what should be done? Either you can take minus 4 outside or you can take 4 outside. If I take 4 outside, it will become 5 by 4 minus x square. How to visualize 5 by 4? It is root 5 the whole square minus x square. Okay. Now these three expressions are not containing x. Suppose the expression is containing x also, x square minus 4x plus 6, a expression containing x square term, x term and a constant term. Take the first two, x square minus 4x and write it as x minus 
if it is a plus then plus minus if there is a minus then divide the coefficient of x by 2 it is 2 therefore put x minus 2 the whole square minus the square of that constant you remember like this x plus or minus divide the coefficient of x by 2 then put the whole square minus square of that constant where it will become x minus to the whole square minus 4 now when you expand the right hand side it will become x minus sorry x square minus 4x plus 4 4 and 4 will get cancelled will get back the left hand side anyway you have seen it in completing the square idea in lower class therefore x square minus 4x plus 6 is nothing but x minus to the whole square minus 4 plus 6 which is x minus to the whole square plus 2 therefore we are visualizing it as x minus to the whole square plus root to the whole square now let us go for another question where the coefficient of x square is other than 1 what you have to do first you take it out it should be taken out then it will become 2 into x square minus 2x plus 3 x square minus 2x can be written as x minus 1 the whole square minus 1 already plus 3 is there therefore x minus 1 the whole square plus 2 which is x minus 1 the whole square plus root to the square therefore understand the technique take the coefficient of x square outside if it is other than 1 take the x square term under the x term then divide the coefficient of x by 2 and write it as x minus the coefficient of x by 2 the whole square minus 2 sorry minus or plus coefficient of x by 2 the whole square minus whatever the constant which you have got it as the coefficient of x the whole square okay anyway we will see some questions now now this is a direct question where it is 1 upon 1 plus 4x 4x square what should be done take 4 outside it will come out as 1 by 4 constant is 1 by 4 plus x square how to visualize it 1 by 4 is 1 by 2 the whole square plus x square now I have identified what is a it is of the form a square plus x square or x square plus a square whatever you call formula is 1 by a tan inverse x by a in place of a I am having 1 by 2 therefore 1 by 4 into 1 by 2 into tan inverse of x upon 1 by 2 now the constants can be uh, adjusted 2 will come to the numerator therefore 2 and 4 will get cancelled 1 by 2 into tan inverse so again 2 will come to the numerator therefore tan inverse 2x plus c but it is a direct question where we are making the coefficient of x square as 1 and we are applying the formula suppose you have a question like this that is a linear quadratic factor in the denominator x square plus 2x minus 2 it is coming under a special type where dx upon a quadratic factor now how to take it coefficient of x square should be made as 1 already it is there let us take x square plus 2x I already told write it as x then if there is a plus sign put a plus sign divide the coefficient of x by 2 it will be 1 the whole square minus square of that constant which is inside the bracket that is 1 therefore 1 square put it over there x plus 1 the whole square minus 1 minus 2 already minus 2 is there it will become x plus 1 the whole square minus 3 how to visualize it it is x plus 1 the whole square minus root 3 the whole square now we are having a formula for x square minus a square in place of x you are having x plus 1 in place of a you are having root 3 remember all the formula of integration can be extended to a function where we are having a linear factor in place of x already we have discussed it in one of the videos therefore we extend this formula it is 1 by 2 root 3 into log of x plus 1 minus root 3 by x plus 1 plus root 3 now sometimes this can be simplified if it is cannot be simplified also it is more than enough it is x plus 1 minus root 3 by x plus 1 plus root 3 but very simple understand that coefficient of x should be made as 1 then how to complete the square identify the constant a and apply the formula let us go to another question where the coefficient of x square is negative here if you are able to take that minus sign outside also you can do because you can take it out that minus sign when you take it out it will become x square plus 6x minus 7 that case also you can do but now let us do it without taking that square outside because we are going to use the technique in the next topic where 
we are not able to take the minus sign outside but here you can take out take it outside anyway now i will do without taking the minus sign outside therefore i am taking the that is outside the integral now i am taking the integral that minus sign outside that uh, two term that is x square term and x term it is 7 minus x square plus 6x now what is the technique now x square plus 6x is to be taken x there is a plus sign therefore plus divide the coefficient of x by 2 it is 3 therefore x plus 3 the whole square minus square of that 3 therefore minus 9 come on let us put it there now it will be 7 minus x plus 3 the whole square minus sign here you should be very careful minus into minus will become plus therefore the constant is 7 plus 9 Seven plus nine minus of x plus three the whole square. What is seven plus nine? It is sixteen minus x plus three the whole square. Now how to visualize that sixteen? It should be visualized as four square. Okay. Now we are ready. Now a we have identified. What is there in place of x? We have identified. Apply the formula a square minus x square one by two a log a plus x by a minus x. Therefore it is one by two into four log of four plus x plus three by four minus x plus three. The all of you know that it can be again written as one by eight into log of x plus seven by one minus the uh, seven minus sorry uh, one minus x. Okay, you can do it by doing the simplification. Now understand this problem can be done by taking minus sign outside the integral. It is allowed. If there is a square root only, it is not allowed. But you can take minus sign outside, and you can do the problem also. You will get the same answer. Let us go to question number four, where the coefficient of x square is other than one. You should be very careful. What should be done? Step number one, the coefficient of x square should be made as one. I am making it now. It will become two two times x square plus half x minus one by two. I am take I have taken two outside. Now what is the step now? Take x square plus one by two x. How to do it? Write it as x plus. Divide the coefficient of x by two. It will become one by four. Put whole square minus square of one by four is one by sixteen. Here be careful. Inside the bracket that is x plus something the whole square whether it is plus or minus depend on the uh, sign where it is x square minus something or x square plus something. But after the square is done, it will be always minus of the square of the constant. Okay, you remember that. Okay, anyway, I am just putting it there now. I am replacing. That x square plus one by two x as x plus one the whole square minus one by sixteen. Therefore, when I take that minus sign outside, it will become one by sixteen plus one by two. The constants are to be added up. All of you know. Please add the constants very carefully, because they are going to decide the formula which you are going to use. Therefore, it is x plus one by four the whole square minus nine by sixteen. When you take take sixteen as the LCM, it will become one plus eight by sixteen. Therefore, it is nine by sixteen. How to visualize nine by sixteen? It is three by four the whole square. Three by four the whole square. For whatever the constant comes over that, it should be visualized as something the whole square. Well, now we got this one by two into one upon x plus one by four the whole square minus three by four the whole square. Which formula to be applied? X square minus a square. It is one by two a log x minus a upon x plus a. Come on, apply it. One by two into one by two into a is three by four. Log of x plus a, that x minus a, that is x plus one by four minus three by four upon x plus a, that is x plus one by four plus three by four. Now there is a lot of scope for simplification. One by two into two by three, two will get cancelled. All of you know that three by two will become two by three. Numerator one by four minus three by four is minus two by four, and one by four plus three by four is one. Therefore, numerator is x minus one by two by x plus one. Again, if you take LCM as three, so two, sorry two, it will become one by three log of two x minus one by two into x plus one plus. But here, what we have done? We have made the coefficient of x square as one. Then after that, we have applied the technique which you have already seen. Well, sometimes you may have a problem like this where. By seeing the problem itself, you know that uh, cos and sine are coming. Therefore, I can try for substitution. When you do the substitution, the problem will get reduced to the type which we have seen just now. Take this problem now. Let us put u is equal to sine x, or t is equal to sine x, or z is equal to sine x. Du will become cos x dx. Apply it now. Cos x dx should be replaced by du. 
and the denominator will become u square plus u minus 1. Okay, well. Therefore, if the denominator, uh, sorry, it is plus 1, sorry, it is plus 1. Okay, well. Therefore, it is u plus 1 by 2 the whole square minus 1 by 4 because u square plus u is u plus 1 by 2 the whole square minus square of 1 by 2 is 1 by 4. What is 1 minus 1 by 4? It is 3 by 4. Therefore, u plus 1 by 2 the whole square plus 3 by 4. Therefore, here how to visualize that 3 by 4? It is nothing but root 3 by 2 the whole square. Which formula is there now? It is of the form a square plus x square or x square plus a square. It is 1 by a tan inverse x by a. What is a? Root 3 by 2 tan inverse. In place of x, we are having u plus 1 by 2 by a is root 3 by 2. But 2, 2 will get cancelled. All of you know how to take the LCM. It is 2 by root 3 tan inverse 2u plus 1 by root 3 plus c. It is a problem of substitution. What you have to do? You have to do the resubstitution. When you do the resubstitution, the final answer is 2 by root 3 tan inverse of 2 sin x plus 1 by root 3. But here what we have done? When you do the substitution, the problem get reduced to a problem where it is of the form dx upon a quadratic polynomial or quadratic factor whatever you call. Then we converted as per our uh, method and we used the one of the formula either it is a square plus x square dx upon or dx upon a square minus x square or dx upon x square minus a square. First you understand the formula perfectly then you understand how the quadratic polynomial is converted so that you can apply the formula directly. Success is dependent on efforts all the best.